Experiment number 34. Experimental study of the effect of temperature on the system of nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen tetroxide. The objectives of this experiment are to develop a better understanding of dynamic chemical equilibrium in a gaseous system, to investigate the effect of the application of some stress on the equilibrium position of an equilibrium system. The chemicals and equipment that are required to carry out this experiment are Electronic scale Wash bottle Delivery tube Pipette Pipette bulb Test tube rack with test tubes Boiling tube with cork Copper turnings and concentrated nitric acid. First measure about 5 grams of copper turnings using the electronic scale and put it into a boiling tube. Using a well washed pipette, measure about 5 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid and add it to the boiling tube containing copper turnings. After adding nitric acid, connect the delivery tube immediately. Collect the evolved gas into three identical test tubes so that the glass tubes get the same color intensity. After collecting the gas, close the test tubes tightly with rubber corks. Next, place the tubes one each in beak containing cold water, in water at room temperature and in warm water. Observe the relative variation in the color intensity of them and come with the one at room temperature. The reaction shown here is exothermic in the backward reaction which produces dinitrogen tetraoxide and is endothermic in the forward reaction which produces nitrogen dioxide. This is because dinitrogen tetraoxide is more stable than nitrogen dioxide because the bonds in dinitrogen tetraoxide are stronger than the bonds in nitrogen dioxide. An increase in temperature will cause the reaction to shift in a way that uses the excess heat which favors the endothermic reaction which produces nitrogen dioxide while a decrease in temperature will result in a shift to produce heat which favors the exothermic reaction which produces dinitrogen tetraoxide. 